this fall. Prepare for an extraordinary event unlike any the world has ever seen. Oh, it's going to be much, much bigger than that. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. or don't you? Imagine. Here was a young girl who was just becoming aware of our democracy. When Benjamin Franklin exited the Constitutional Convention, he was asked by a woman, Sir, what have you given us? His immediate response was, A republic, ma'am, if you can keep it. Yet most Americans today have been persuaded that our nation's governmental system is a democracy and not a republic. Little smiley face. And here it is again. Special for you. Special count for you people that don't believe. Or do believe but don't understand. And say, well, that's not important. Well, it is important, folks. Imagine. Here was a young girl who was just becoming aware of our democracy. When Benjamin Franklin exited the Constitutional Convention, he was asked by a woman, Sir, what have you given us? His immediate response was, A republic, ma'am, if you can keep it. Yet most Americans today have been persuaded that our nation's governmental system is a democracy and not a republic. I want to live up to her expectations. I want our democracy to be as good as Christina imagined it. The difference between these two is essential in understanding Americanism and the American system. Before we discuss political systems, however, it's helpful to address the confusion that has been spread about the political spectrum. Many have been led to believe that the political spectrum places groups such as communists on the far left, fascists or dictators on the far right, and political moderates or centrists in the middle. 
However, a more accurate political spectrum will show government having zero power on the far right to having 100% power on the far left. At the extreme right, there is no government. The extreme left features total government under such labels as communism, socialism, Nazism, fascism, princes, potentates, dictators, kings, any form of total government. Those who claim that Nazis and fascists are right-wing never define their terms. This amounts to spreading confusion. Toward the middle of the political spectrum can be found the type of government limited to its proper role of protecting the rights of the people. That's where the Constitution of the United States is. Those who advocate such a form of government are really constitutional moderates.